Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, we are going to see how to model a swimming pool in Revit. My name is Pragadish and let's get started. So first I'm opening the Revit. So I have opened the architecture template. So I'm just clicking this level one. So first we are going to create a floor. So go to architecture, click floor, floor architecture. Okay. So I'm just um, creating a floor. So um, and this is the this is the uh, inner floor in which the swimming pool will be coming. So uh, I'm not minding the dimensions. So we are just creating. Click finish. Okay. So next we are going to create the floor for our swimming pool. So again, go to floor. I'll get it to floor and. This, I'm just giving an offset of uh, 300 mm, and from here, I'm just making a flow from here. Okay, so since most of the swimming pool will be in slope, so we are going to give a slope. So click slope, I'm just giving slope from here to here, and click this slope, and you can see the height offset at tail and height offset at head. So I'm just giving. Um, Thousand and two thousand. So finish and uh, let's check in the three D view. Okay, you can see there is a slope here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just clicking this and just making it below. Okay, fine. So this is the slope for our swimming pool. So next what we are going to do is we have to create a wall So for that click architecture wall wall architecture. I'm just selecting um, generic 300 mm and the location line is finish wall interior. Okay. And select rectangle from here to here. Okay. Done. So let's check in the 3d view. Okay, the height is not um, good, so I'm just selecting all the floor, all the walls, and let's give the base offset um, minus thousand and okay, uh, this is minus two thousand. Okay, so I'm just giving minus two thousand and this one zero. Or else we can do one thing, just click this and just drop it down here. Okay. So do that for everything. Like click here, align with this one. And here align with this one. Same as here, click this, align with this face, and align with this one. And click this wall. Okay, so we have just aligned now. So you could have noticed these two were not perfect, right? So just double click, edit, and now you have to align with this one, with the flow, with the slope. Remove constraints and Okay, this is fine. Let's click finish. As you can see, it's uh, perfect now. So same you have to do in that side. So click this, double click, and align with the this slope. Remove constraints. Okay. So now just finish. Okay. So now our swimming pool is ready. So next we are going to create the water. So for that, go to the level one. I'm just clicking components and model in place. Okay. So I'm just selecting generic model and I'm just renaming it to water. Okay. So before that, set work plane. Okay. Pick a plane and I'm just selecting this plane. Okay. So now click extrusion and select line. This one, this one, 
this one and this one so now just trim the unwanted lines make it perfect okay now give finish so when you go to 3d view you can see our extrusion here right just extrude for to that end okay so now assuming the water is ready what you want to do is we have to apply the material so you can see the material here so click this material and search for water and if water is not available you can just create a new one okay create new material and just uh, rename it to water and here you can go to this asset browser and here you can search for the element water okay so search for water and you can uh, replace with the current asset which you have created okay so close that give apply okay so and then finish so we have applied this um, water material for this one so next we are just going to see how it looks like so i'm just placing some components at this side like we can place um a tree or a furniture the swimming pool near the swimming pool or if you want we can add like steps inside or a furniture okay and i'm just going to the camera okay i'm just leaving the camera from here to here okay so choose weight ray so that we can see the water perfectly so this is how we have to create a swimming pool with realistic water effect i hope this video is helpful if this video is helpful click the like button below and subscribe to our technostruct academy youtube channel so that you'll be getting all the updates daily and don't forget to follow us on instagram and linkedin this is pragish signing off until we meet again in the next video thank you and if you have any doubts you can give in the comment section below i'll be answering all your questions and see you